Hey, Victory Dragon King Daigo here, and back at you with another episode of Player Profiles. Please do not ask me to shorten it. I want to stay monetized. Yes, that is the full title. Today, we are talking about everybody's least favorite but favorite players, the accountants, who are best summed up by the quote, get your money up, not your funny up. The accountants fall in a very unique place in Magic. They are very much the types of players who are they're running the numbers, they're grinding out games in terms of what wins the most consistently, what wins the fastest, what wins at the most efficient. Or what's winning consistently, and like they look, they take raw number data, they do quantitative after quantitative after quantitative analysis. Um, their decks will be full of cards you'll see at the top 100s of EDH rec sites, um, and they just run the numbers on everything. Now. You may be wondering, who is a good example of a accountant? Well, I've got two great examples for you. Two great examples for you. Um, on our own channel, we have a very, very clear one, and that is Milton. Milton loves numbers, so much so that he built an entire coded CDH, almost database adjacent system, for the standpoint of seeing what cards are good in the format. Um, and then for a bit more less esoteric. Um, for all of my Play to Win fans and all of my casually competitive fans, you're going to find Cam from Play to Win as an accountant and Benjamin from Casually Competitive. I hope I'm saying his name right. I'm almost positive that's who I'm referring to. Um, they play very, very similar in that their decks are very good and not much else. Um... Depending on how, like, fancy or how, like, devil may care they are will determine the amount of, like, inflection points you're going to actually be able to deal with their deck. Um, if they're super um, fancy devil may care, you're going to have a really rough time because their decks are going to be built very well, but also going to be super annoying to play against in that. Um, you're like, what is the actual interaction point? <laughs> um, where do I stop this? Or they're just drowning me out in value. Um, good commanders of this would be like stuff like Kess Dissident Mage, Jorn God of Winter, um, and uh, Roko, Cabaretti Caterer, not the Street Chef. Street Chef is hilarious and I love him, but he's not an accountant's deck. Um, these are commanders that are really good about doing numbers and like they grind out numbers. Um, Roko kind of less so now with the printing of Orcish Bowmasters, the boogeyman for me that I go to sleep fearing every night, every time someone's like, I cast a wheel. Anyways, um, but yeah, those are the decks that are going to attract an accountant. Um, anything where they can like show that they've done quantitative analysis or like they're like, this deck is good because the numbers determine it's good. And that lies the problem with an accountant. They know what's good, they don't know what's unpredictable. They play very good magic, but they don't necessarily play to win. And what I mean by that is they play to win in that they're very much competitive types, but if someone comes at them with something that they just have no like idea how it plays, they kind of flounder. Um, a good example of this would be like when I played against Milton a while back, he was playing Yarok the Desecrated and doing a bunch of mill things with infinite landfall triggers. There's a little card in green called Gaius Blessing. He didn't know what it did. I knew what it did. And it literally lost him the game because he milled me out. It shuffled my entire graveyard back into my library because how he was doing his combo, he couldn't guarantee which Bajuka Bog would order the section in, in terms of where the card was. So he lost that game. And that in lies the weakness of the accountant. If a card is good and they don't know about it, they are going to get wrecked by it. And that's how you beat an accountant. You have to be unpredictable. You can't be safe. You can't be focused. Well, you can be. You just can't be conventional. Because they see conventionality, and that is their bread and butter. So to beat an uh, accountant, you have to be unconventional, and you have to be unpredictable. Which doesn't work for everybody, I understand. Or you just have to be better. You just have to be a better accountant. Um, they love deck building, much like a lot of the other archetypes that are more pronounced will. And like finding that new thing that's going to be the next big thing and like seeing what it can do. 
but they are very quick to drop stuff. Um, an accountant, unless they are very, like, I don't want to use the term as, like, disabled thing, but, like, if they're very kind of, like, anal about it, they will make a deck either really good or just drop it as soon as it's not, like, doing good anymore. Um, that's not an attack. That's just, like, kind of how it is. So, that is to say, your accountants are going to be players who are, like, very much focused around doing the things that are good and meta and conventional. They're not bad people. You just need to know how to play against them. I suggest every playgroup have one. Um, I think almost every playgroup does in some way, shape, or form. And they keep you on... Well, they don't keep you honest. They keep you, like, focused. And they keep a deck or, like, a community at least somewhat, like, grounded. With that being said, I am Victory Dragon King Daigo, and this has been Player Profiles. Don't ask me to shorten it because I want to stay monetized. Have a nice night.